guys, it's Lena Blake from Redefined Horizons, and in this video I'm going to show you how the Planny Way power-up works for Trello. So, if you guys watch my videos, you know I'm a kind of a Trello addict. Uh, I don't know how I stay organized before I got it, so it's a cool little app. Uh, it's web-based, you can also get it on your desktop. So it's the main task management tool that we use here at Refine Horizons, and you can see I've got my team task management board up. So let me just describe briefly how I set that board up, and then I'll show you how this plugin works, this power up. So the first thing I have here is task to assign. This is just stuff that hasn't been assigned yet, the kind of stuff that's in the hopper. Okay, then I've got three boards for, or three lists for each employee. So I've got their primary tasks, their secondary tasks, and stuff that's on hold. So you can see here I've got Bridget, Danny, myself. I've got an extra list of things that will never be done because I just have a bunch of stuff that will never be done. And I've got Monique, Vanessa. Okay, so it's in alphabetical order. The last list on the board is completed tasks. And then, I guess this isn't going to be PKF anymore, is it? <laughs> this is going to be uh, uh, guidelines. That, that get their, guidelines get their own list because we're... Uh, we're always working to improve our processes, our standards, and our templates. So that's a bunch of stuff I carried over from my last job that, that needs work. Just standard stuff. Okay. So that's how the board's set up. So what I want to show you is how the Planning Way Planner works. Now in order to... So essentially the Planning Way Planner is a, is a calendar power-up on steroids. And there's a couple key things you need to do to your board to get this to work. So the first thing you need to do is you need to assign each task to that person. So everything on Landon's list should should be assigned to Landon. You can see the first two here aren't. Uh, so that's no bueno. We want to fix that. So we're going to come into members and we're going to tag Landon on those cards. Okay. Okay. And the other thing that we're going to need at some point is we're going to need a due date. None of these have a due date yet. So, most of my board is set up, but there's a lot of my board that isn't set up. Okay, so for example, this task that will never be done, I'm not going to assign these to myself yet because I don't want them to show up. <laughs> so I'm going to leave them unassigned. But let's, let's come over here and get Bridget set up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and set up Bridget. Bridget's task, we're going to go ahead and assign. Now, When we click the Plan Away Planner button here, it's going to pull up the calendar view. Uh, but there's not going to be anything in it yet. And the reason why there's nothing in it yet is because uh, nothing has a due date. So the way this works is you is you want to you want to assign a due date. And you can see down here it's just giving you kind of a a summary of your board here down at the bottom. Okay. Sorry. Right here, so you can just hold. If you hold down your left mouse button, you can drag this, okay, and it shows the label in kind of abbreviated form of the card. But nothing's showing up in the top here because I don't have any due dates assigned. So let's go ahead and assign some due dates, and I'll show you how that works. So we're going to start over here with Bridget. She gets picked on because she's first in line. Just say, "Hey, Bridget, be great if by the end of this week, coming up, you could have that credit application done." And this is almost finished, so I'm going to say hey, if you could get that done by Tuesday, that would be great. I'm not going to put a time on here, a specific time. Okay, and um, I'm going to give her till the end of the week on this as well. It's got a time here, so let's. I'm going to say hey, by the end of the week, so 5, 5 p.m. Oops. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to pick on me now for a minute. So these are some things that I need to have done. So uh, this task here, updating our biz partners website, I want to get that done by uh, Tuesday at 5 p.m. Okay, and the SIR order form, same thing. I'm going to say Tuesday at 5 p.m. Okay, uh, handouts for proposals. Uh, I'm going to get myself to the end of the week on this one. So we'll say Friday at 5 p.m. Okay. Uh, 
plan for footer content on our website. I'm going to get myself to Wednesday. Okay, so I'm not going to do all these. I just want to do a, do a few to show you what happens. So now when you come in and click on the planning way button, now because we've assigned some due dates now, so now we're getting some tasks that show up. Okay, and you can't see the whole thing, but if you hover over uh, the, the card, it'll tell you, all right. So now I can kind of see hey, what does Landon have to work on Tuesday, you know, this is this is what's due Tuesday. He needs to create an order form. He needs to update the biz partner website. He needs to make a plan for the footer content. He needs to write handouts for the that go with the proposals. Okay, Bridget, I'd like her to finish marking these sheets up on Tuesday. She needs to complete the credit application by Friday. And actually, if you uh, click this, you can actually say, "Hey, um, you can give this a begin and an end date," which is kind of cool. So we're going to say, "All right." We want we can make that it didn't work the way I wanted uh, now that's going to stretch all week for her okay and I don't really want that I just want it to be on the day the day that uh, it's due but you can do that you can actually set those uh, to run multiple days which is cool okay so uh, that's basically how the plan away planner works so you give it gives you a way to kind of keep a handle on your team and uh, you can filter this so let's say um, uh, you only want to see the billable tasks for the week so if you click that now it's only showing the billable tasks okay so super handy tool all right guys so that was a short video my videos usually aren't short but hopefully that'll help you I love Trello planning way I just started using it the last couple weeks but it seems like a handy tool all right guys thanks for watching